Hello guys and welcome. In this short tutorial I am going to show you how you can uh, install your new Amazon Store plugin. A plugin that will help you to create your own affiliate Amazon Store directly on your WordPress website. Now this is very useful obviously if you want to become an Amazon affiliate and if you want to monetize better through your own website. Maybe you can generate traffic through your blog or through different types of content. The whole idea is that you can use this plugin to create uh, an Amazon Store directly on your blog very very easily. Now first things first what I want you to do is go on your WordPress website, log into your admin dashboard and after you log into your da admin dashboard this is what you will basically see. Okay. Now what we want to do is go in the left side menu, go in the plugin section, click on the plugin section here. You will have in the plugin section a new option if you look uh, at the top side. It says add new, click on the add new button and here this is what you will see, okay? This will open uh, in front of you. You will have this option upload plugin, click on this option on this button. You will choose the file, basically you have already downloaded the, the plugin on your computer as a, a zip file. You just push this button choose file, you go where your plugin is on your computer downloaded. Okay, and here it is mine, WordPress Amazon Store, I just press open, okay, and right now I will press this button install now, okay, this is what you have to do as well, press the install now button, and bear with me for a couple of seconds, because it installs our new plugin, and it will take about 10 to 15 seconds. As you can see here, I'm packing the package, install the plugin, plugin installed successfully. So you have to see all this, uh, okay, all let's say uh, all this text here, and you have to, to see this text, plugin installed successfully. Now, what you want to do is press this button, activate plugin, and this is it. Okay, you have installed and activated your new plugin. If you will take a look in the left side menu of your WordPress admin dashboard, you will see that you have this new plugin WordPress Amazon Store. Okay, now before you can actually use your plugin, uh, as you probably already know, you can basically create affiliate pages for individual products. I know maybe you want to do a blog where you create reviews for mobile phones or something. This will be very useful because you can get a lot of traffic for, let's say, a specific model of a mobile phone or a smartphone and you can create individual pages with affiliate links for that specific product. You can also create recommended products. So basically, you think, I don't know, let's say that your blog is related to laptops, you can create a page where you basically recommend people laptops after a specific keyword and you also can um, can give them best selling products on categories okay create a page with best selling products on categories now before doing all of these things okay because if you have a look while i'm going in the left side menu on the wordpress amazon store we have four options here settings individual product recommended for you best selling and content editing so now that you have installed your new Amazon Store plugin on your uh, WordPress uh, site, what you can do is basically create separate pages where you create uh, basically affiliate links where you promote your products, okay? And uh, you use the plugin to create uh, to create those uh, those affiliate links, or you can basically insert those products with your affiliate links in different pages. For example, maybe you write an article about the best smartphones that you can buy from Amazon. You can insert uh, in the footer of the article, okay, uh, those uh, those products with your affiliate links. Now, now, what you can do is go to the pages section because this is where you will use the plugin. You can see that I have already created here three pages, best selling product, individual product and recommended for you. And these are the three options that you have if you want to promote uh, a type of product from Amazon. You can promote on a, an individual one. You can uh, uh, basically promote uh, products from the recommended for you section or the best selling products. And the best selling products and the recommended ones are based on keywords, okay? Keywords that people are searching for on Amazon. Now, now let me show you an example of how this works. Let's say that uh, I want to go in the best-selling product, 
and I want to insert new products here. You can see this short code. Let me just delete it. Okay. Uh, you will see that uh, in the editor, I have this small icon with the Amazon store plugin. I just have to click on it. Okay. Three new options will open for me and I need to select the one that I want to use. Okay. From the plugin, the individual product the recommended for you or the best selling one. Let's say that I want to recommend the best selling product because I'm in that page right now. Uh, I will, uh, I will select a keyword. Let's say that we want smartphones, right? And we want display desired number of features five. Okay. We want five, uh, five displays. And this is it. It, ins it inserts automatically the short code for me. And that's it. If I will go on this page right now, I will see smartphones. Okay. Top five for this keyword, best selling products. Now let me just click on update page and I will show you right away. Okay. Just a second. Let me go to the website. So bear with me for a couple of seconds till it loads. Okay. You can see that I have this option here on the website, best selling product. If I click on this option, the new page will open for me. And you will see that I have my new products from the smartphone keyword category. Okay. Best selling products. You can see them ranked. Okay. Here for the smartphone keyword. So let me go back now. Uh, basically you can create as many pages as you want. I personally like to create separate pages for the best selling category recommended or individual products. If you want to make a review for a product or something like that. Okay. This is it. Let me walk you through a little bit what you need to do with your new plugin. So let's go and click in the left side menu on the plugin. Okay. <clears throat> so first of all, we have the settings. And if we scroll down through the settings, you can see that you already need to create an Amazon affiliate account and you just have to go through the documentation a little bit in order to see that you have to create an affiliate account for the countries that you want to promote because basically Amazon lets you to promote from different countries product. You know that Amazon is opened in multiple countries. So we have uh, after you create your affiliate account. Okay. Uh, you will have to put in all of these fields. You will have to fill in all of these fields here, the Amazon API key. Okay. You have to copy and paste it here. The Amazon API secret, you will find a file where uh, a documentation file for the plugin where it says how you can create this, uh, this Amazon account. Okay. Affiliate account and uh, all of these things, the Amazon API key, the API secret. Then you have to select the Amazon network. And you have multiple options here. Maybe you want to promote something from the United States, from Brazil, from Canada. Okay. And then give your uh, associates ID and press save changes. And that's up. That's it. You are set up with your Amazon account. Okay. Now let me show you the other options that you have the content editing. Okay. Here you have some options, recommended products. Okay. You can change all of these things here top selling products. Okay. Updated on these are basically things that you will see them into your, uh, into your product that will be displayed on the, on the pages and you can change this, these things. Okay. Basically uh, it's like setting up the layout for the products. How will they be displayed on your pages? Okay. View the images, what it will say, uh, what will be the title for recommended products. Okay. Uh, what, what it uh, will be said next to them. Let me just show you an example. Okay. So you can understand better. Let me go on this page. So let me go for recommended for you. <laughs> just bear with me for a couple of seconds. Okay. Because it's loading. Okay. You can see we have recommended products and ranked no number. Okay. You can see that this thing here with ranked number appears here. Okay. Number and so on for top selling products is the same thing. It will appear number. Okay. And so on the updated on date editing feature. If we scroll down, we can see that updated on. Okay. That editing feature and so on. So if you scroll down, you can change all of these things. So, uh, for example, buy on Amazon at discounted price, the buy button editing feature. So this will basically, this will appear on your buy button, buy on Amazon at discounted price. If you change it here, 
with simply buy on Amazon, it will appear here buy on Amazon and that's it. Okay. Now let me show you another very important thing that you need to know. If you go through all of these three pages, they will very much seem to look the same. Okay. You will have these codes here. Basically, this is the individual layout of, uh, of uh, the page of the individual product or for the recommended product or for the best selling product, right? What you want to do before editing this stuff here, maybe, I don't know, you want to add something new to the layout of the individual product. You want to generate a page backup. You just click on this button. Okay. Now your backup is generated and now you can change whatever you want to change here. Okay. And for example, maybe, I don't know, you want to add something here like uh, a line of text, okay, like blah, blah, or something like that. Now you press the button, save this code. And let me show you what happens. So if I go to the individual product, you can see that this piece of text appears here. Okay, blah, blah. Now, maybe you did this by mistake, so you don't want to change this. If you want to change this and add different things, it's perfectly okay. But maybe you don't want these things and you want the page to look like it used to before uh, adding this, uh, this piece of text or code here. What you want to do is go on this, on this option here, restore page backup. You just have to click on it. And this is it. Okay. It will restore your page backup. Let's save the code. So all the time create, uh, create page backups and it looks the same for recommended for you. If we go to recommended for you, okay, you can see it's the same thing. And for best selling products is the same thing. Now, let me go back. Let me press the refresh button. Now you can see that the page is as it has been before uh, changing and inserting that uh, that line in the code. Now let me go back to our dashboard and here we are, we are back. So don't forget to create these backups before you do any changes. And I hope you will enjoy your new Amazon plugin and I hope you will have a lot of commissions uh, from using this plugin and I'm looking forward to see you in our future videos. Bye bye till then, sorry in here.